Hello students, today we are going to study chapter 6 of English literature. The name of the chapter is The Red Shoes. It's written by Hans Christian Andersen. So student, let's open the book and start reading this chapter. Dear students, the name of the chapter, as you know, is The Red Shoes. Now with this title of this chapter, we come to know that the whole chapter deals with the red shoes. Now the question stands, whose red shoes are these? And who wears them? And who is it made for? So let's read this story and we'll come to know the answer to these questions. Now, dear students, the story begins with, there was once a little girl who was pretty and delicate. But in summer, she was forced to run about with bare feet. Now, dear students, this little girl was very beautiful, very pretty, and she was very delicate. With delicate, we mean students that she used to most of the time remain ill. But in the summertime, she was forced to run about with bare feet. And she was so poor that during the winter that she used to wear very large wooden shoes. Now, dear students, you must have seen all kind of shoes, but students, wooden shoes, it's something with which nobody would want to wear. And this girl used to wear very large wooden shoes. Students, which made her little insteps quite red. Now, students, insteps means the part of the person's foot which is between the ball and the ankle in your leg. And that got quite red and that looks so dangerous, students. It was really dangerous. And in the middle of the village, there lived also an old dame shoemaker. Dear students, old dame shoemaker means that they means elderly mature woman now this elderly old mature woman students she was a shoemaker and she sat and she sewed to them together and uh, as well she could a little pair of shoes out of old red strips of cloth dear students she made a shoe out of red strips or pieces of cloth. Now these red shoes were actually made out of cloth and they were very clumsy. They lacked grace as many of you would be having beautiful lovely shoes at home but this girl was a poor one and hence could not afford some very good shoes and hence this shoes, these red shoes were actually much lacking in grace. Students, but it was a kind thought. They were meant for the little girl. The little girl name was Karen. On the very same day, her mother was buried and Karen received the red shoes and wore them for the first time. They were certainly not intended for mourning. They were not meant for mourning or sorrow. But she had no others. And with stockingless feet, without stocks, without stockings, she followed the poor straw coffin in them. Now, the mother of Karen had died 
and when she had went to bury her students she went in those shoes and she followed the poor straw coffin in them straw coffin my dear students means the final problem that will lead to an end now suddenly students a large old carriage came drove up and a large old lady sat in it she looked at the little girl and felt compassion for her she felt pity for her for this girl karen and she sympathized with her and then this old lady said to the clergyman clergyman students means priest a pastor of a church as we have pujaris in temples and so here we have priest a pastor in church here give me the little girl this old lady said and she said that she will adopt her adopt her student means that she will legally accept her and bring as one's own child as if this girl was her own and karen believed all this happened on account of red shoes because of red shoes account of means because of red shoes but the old lady thought they were horrible and they were burnt but karen herself was cleanly and nicely dressed now student let's move ahead to the next page of the chapter and students it says she must learn to read and sew sew means stitch and people said she was nice little thing she was a lovely girl but the looking glass said looking glass my dear student means the mirror and the mirror said the what more than nice you are not just not an ordinary girl the mirror said you are not just an ordinary girl the what more than nice the means you you are more than nice though my dear students is a latin english word which was once used to be pronounced in the early centuries and today we are not utilizing such kind of words but in the older texts we could find them so students it's written over here that the looking glass or the mirror said you are more beautiful than nice you are just not beautiful you are rather more than beautiful though art beautiful you are really beautiful now karen had new clothes and was to have new shoes the rice my dear students the rich shoemaker in the city took the measure of a little pot <clears throat> measure my dear students means that the rich shoemaker of the city took or the took the size or check the size of the little girl karen's foot and this took place at his house only in his room where stood large glass cases there were large glass cases of the rich shoemaker and in which there were many shoes over there in the middle it's written student in the midst of the shoes midst means in the middle of the shoes stood a pair of red ones now how beautiful they were now these pair of shoes were beautiful the shoemaker said also they had been made for a child and a child of a count now these were the shoes made for 
children only for some child only and uh, the size exactly was of Karen but had not been fitted to anyone so that anyone could actually buy it and obviously over here it means that it it's kept over here because it wasn't been able to be sailed out and hence we come to know that it is available for Karen. Now that must be patent leather said the old lady. Now the old lady said that this much this must be a patent leather. Patent leather my dear students means uh, special designs uh, with some textures in it. Now, that must be some uh, good leather it means. And they shine so also? Yes, they shine, said Karen. And they fitted also in the feet of Karen and were bought. But the old lady knew nothing about their being red. Else, she would never have allowed Karen to have gone in red shoes to be confirmed. And my dear students, Karen was about to be confirmed. Now students, confirmed or confirmation students is a kind of a religious ceremony or you can say uh, it's a way of making a Christian person, a boy or a girl who is has become elder in age so that she could take more responsibilities in the church. Now, this girl, Karen, was about to be confirmed. She was to take part in this religious ceremony of confirmation. She was to be confirmed. Now, yet such was the case. In the afternoon, the old lady heard from everyone that the shoes had been read. Now, dear students, confirmation is a kind of a religious rite, <coughs> a ceremony in which... Uh, the people have to wear strict clothing like uh, the men wear white shirts and black pants and uh, same way the girls have to wear white gowns you can say and we come to know over here that and the shoes should be black my dear students and here we come to know that uh, actually the shoes were red and she said that it was very wrong of Karen that was not at all becoming. Becoming means beautiful and that in future Karen should only go in black shoes to church even when she should be older. A proper dress to go to a proper place. Now the next Sunday there was the sacrament, this was the ritual or the sacred rite of being confirmed of the confirmation, my dear students. And Karen looked at the black shoes, looked at the red ones and looked them again and put on those red shoes. Now the sun shone gloriously. Gloriously means, my dear students, brightly. And the old lady walked along the path through the corn. Corn is maize, my dear students, and was rather dusty over there. And at the church door, there was an old soldier which stood over there with a crutch. Now, crutch is, my dear students, a long stick which is used by the lame people so that they could have some kind of support under the armpit which was more red than white and he bowed to the ground and asked the old lady whether he might dust her shoes because she was uh, the girl who was to be confirmed and her shoes were dusty 
and hence this old soldier wanted to dust her shoes and Karen stretched out her little foot and see what beautiful dancing shoes said the soldier. The soldier said, no, these uh, shoes are very beautiful students. Sit firm when you dance and put his hand out towards the soles. And she, uh, he just put out his hand towards the soles so that he could actually dust and make the shoe shine. And the old lady gave the old soldier alms. Alms means charity, my dear students. Charity. And went into the church with Karen. And all the people in the church looked at Karen's shoes, Karen's red shoes, and all the pictures. And as Karen knelt before the altar, as Karen just bowed down at the altar. Altar, my dear students, is a place in the church where person goes over there, bows the head, and the person comes at the knees and prays to God over there. So Karen went over there and she knelt down before the altar and raised the cup to her lips and she only thought of the red shoes. Now, a thing is given so that uh, a person be confirmed in the church and a cup was given so that she could drink from it. And uh, it's a ceremony, it's a ceremonial rite. And she only thought of the red shoes. And they seemed to swim in it. It seemed as if uh, uh, it perfectly fit the lady, perfectly fit the girl. And she forgot to sing her psalm. My dear students, P is silent over here. Psalm means song. Now, dear students, let's move ahead. And she forgot to pray our Father in heaven. Now, all the people went to church. And the old lady got into her carriage. And Karen raised her foot to get in after this old lady. And the old soldier said, look what beautiful dancing shoes were these. And Karen could not help dancing in those lovely shoes. So she danced a step or two. And uh, when she began, her feet continued to dance. And when she started dancing, she just couldn't stop. And... Uh, it was just as though the shoes had the power over them. Even it seems as if uh, these shoes were rejoicing along with this girl. And she's danced round the church corner and she could not leave off. And the coachman was obliged or you can say forced to run after to actually catch this girl catch hold of Karen and he lifted her back to the carriage so that this girl could actually sit in the carriage and these two ladies could leave but her feet continued to dance her feet students Karen's feet so the Karen's feet continued to dance so that she could walk on and the old lady dreadfully or terribly, my dear students, at length, she took the shoes off. At length, my dear students, means after a very long time, when she got tired, when this girl got tired, when Karen got tired, she took the shoes off, and then her legs had peace. Then the legs got peace, and they were at rest. The shoes were placed in a closet, in a cupboard, where actually it's used to keep all the shoes over there. But Karen could not avoid looking at them because they were beautiful. And certainly when she did not have the pair of shoes, 
but now she had the pair of shoes and it's just not a pair of shoes but a lovely pair of shoes and she just couldn't avoid looking at them my dear students with this we come to know that this girl actually was the girl who had these red pair of shoes and the girl loved the shoes and the shoes also loved the girl as she when she wore it she looked lovely in it and she danced also and she danced for too long and she was at peace when she saw it that she had it and uh, her legs were at peace when she just put it off and put it off in the cupboard but still this girl karen could not stop her eyes and could not avoid looking at these pair of shoes thank you students with this we come to the end of this particular video